What the dog doing? Oh. Hey guys, my name is Alyssa and today I'm going to be showing you my makeup routine. I've had a few people ask, how do you get your eyeliner so snatched? I'm going to be showing y'all what I do for my makeup. This is usually what I do. It depends on how good my skin is looking. I guess I'm going to get onto it. Okay, so the first thing that I usually start with is the concealer. Sometimes I switch up concealer and foundation, but today I'm going to start with the concealer. The concealer I use is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Sad and Finish. The thing that sucks though is that I'm in a summer shade right now. Usually I'm lighter, so my foundation and my concealer are slightly too light, but it's okay. I think I put too much on my chin, it's okay. I act like I didn't. I prefer these over sponges because I feel like it blends better. I mean, it's just the way that I do it, but I've never really liked using sponges. So I think I got these from Miss A. Miss A has a lot of good beauty products. Usually I can go with just doing concealer, but like I said, summer shade. I lost the top. I don't know how, so just ignore how ugly it looks. The foundation that I use, my summer shade, it's L'Oreal Paris Infernal. Actually, I like this a lot better than my winter shade one that I have. It's an e.l.f. I'm probably going to buy this in my winter shade too. This is for oily skin, and I have pretty oily skin. It feels a lot nicer on my face than the e.l.f. one does. It doesn't end up making me feel very greasy throughout the day. I don't know how it works for dry skin, but for my type of skin, it's really good. It doesn't actually feel heavy either. Um, also, I do not put foundation on my nose because whenever I put foundation on my nose, it makes me lose like the depth of my face. Yeah, no one can really tell that I didn't put any on my nose. This is my winter shade, the Elf Flawless Satin Finish. The shade is Cashew, which is medium with olive undertones. I find it really hard to find foundations that work for my skin tone. Well, you can see how light this looks on me. I have powder that will make it the same color as my skin. So I don't put it on my eyes either because I just don't like it. Finish the foundation. I don't know if the audio sounds any different right now, but I forgot to plug up my mic. So hopefully it sounds better. If it sounded bad at all before, I don't know. So I just finished up my foundation. Next is going to be, I guess, contour. I am not the best at contour right now. I just bought some contour last week and I've been kind of messing with it, trying to see how it works. How did I get this dirty? I just bought it last week. Okay. So one of my favorite brands is NYX. Their eyeliner is really good. It's one I'm about to use in a few minutes. I wore it whenever we were at the beach and whenever we were at the water park and it never comes off. It's a really good eyeliner. So if you're looking for an eyeliner that stays on for a long time this one this is the best one to get so i love that brand so i've been trying to buy other things with that brand too this is called a wonder stick one side is highlighter and one side is contour so this is contour and this is the highlighter side nobody's ever really taught me how to put it on it kind of looks really gray so i might have gotten the wrong shade but like it's okay i don't know if it actually looks good or not nobody's told me it looks bad so we're gonna act like it looks great you're gonna act like it looks great well, i'm just gonna go with them with my uh foundation thingy and blend it a little bit it looks not no okay it looks like more contoured now i also use slightly darker setting powder too as a contour so i'm use a little bit of that too in a second after that i get my setting powder the setting powder i've been using for like two years now or just a year i don't know is the covergirl clean professional apparently i dropped it and cracked it so it still looks like i just spilled that all over my bed that kind of sucks I'm gonna cry. I'm not cleaning it up right now though. Anyways, back to that. It came with a brush that I'm looking for right now. It's like a, one of those patty things. So at the moment we are going to use this, which I also got from Miss A. It's also AOA Studio. It makes the powder go everywhere, so it's not as good. But that is our only option because I'm... Oh my gosh. Are you dumb? Y'all don't listen to me. Don't listen to anything I'm doing right now. Okay. <laughs> my lower part of my face down here is a different shade than my forehead for my forehead setting powder i use elf it's called medium dark i'm um, pretty sure i got this from dollar tree the rest of my stuff i've gotten from ulta yeah you can see it makes it slightly darker i blend it with my actual skin and i take it and i kind of use it like right here too i'm not very professional but like if you're looking for makeup advice maybe don't listen to me when it comes to like foundation and stuff or like contouring and highlighting i actually don't know how to do that either that comes next i also don't know how to put this on but I just rub it on my cheeks like that. Could be too much. Don't know. I just put that all over my cheek. I don't know if you can see it very well. It looks slightly shiny though. Slightly shinier. It makes your cheekbone stand out a little more. Um, You can also put it on the tip of your nose. I do not usually do it, but I'm going to try right now. Shiny nose. Okay. Pretty sure that's it base-wise, foundation-wise. Next 
is the eyes. I'm not a fan of eyeshadow. I just feel like it looks too heavy. Not that I like to keep it natural because well, like, my makeup doesn't look natural. I just like the simplicity. I use the e.l.f. It's like a glitter eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. This one's Flirty Bird. You just dab it right there. And there. And just tap. You just rub it in. Tap. Doesn't matter. So that's usually what I do for if I want to put something on my eyes. I also had a different one, but yeah, it broke and spilled all in my makeup bag. The blush I use is Elf Putty Blush. I use it a lot. This one's my favorite one. Put it on your finger like that. Just put it in there right there. Just rub it on your cheek. And then I put it on my nose. Here we go. My mom and my sister also really like using this one. So next I do the eyeliner. I actually already showed you my eyeliner, but this is the eyeliner I use all the time. I used to use the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. It was like this, just the e.l.f. version and not waterproof. I like this one a lot better because it actually stays on throughout the day. So like if I'm sweating and I wear it to ballet, it'll stay on. A lot of people ask me how I do my eyeliner. I don't really know how to explain how you do eyeliner. You can just watch me do it. Sometimes I like to go higher, sometimes I like to go lower. But I might want to do that or that. So I just kind of do whatever I want at the moment. I already messed it up. What the heck? And if you mess up your makeup, use a Q-tip. For this, it dries extremely fast, so you have to put coconut oil on it. You just go from the tip of your eye. It's really hard to do it because I'm looking at my phone. And you just go fast. And that's why I do my eyeliner. Sometimes I'll curve it more. Really simple. Sometimes I do it longer or shorter. Sometimes I do it thicker at the top, but at the moment, I like it thin. Then I just see where the point is going to. The point is pointing towards the edge of my eyebrow. So I'm gonna try and match it. So it was kind of hard seeing my left side, so I messed it up. Usually in a mirror, I could do it pretty well. I have this little mirror, like I'm totally hit a grab. Dip in your coconut oil. I'm using Olay thing to hold my coconut oil in. Okay, so we are going to act like these are even for now. It always looks better though once you put mascara on. Um, the mascara I use is the Essence Lash Princess. I use the False Lash Effect. I've been using this mascara for as long as I've been using mascara really. Which is like at least five years. It's really good. The waterproof one is also really good. See the difference? It just looks so much better. And I also do the bottom eyelashes. I used to not do my bottom eyelashes with mascara, but I think it just looks better. So that is the mascara. This eyeliner that I actually wanted to use for lip liner. So this is also NYX. I got it from Jenny. The NYX Professional Makeup Eye Pencil. I also use it as a lip liner though. So I just put this underneath my bottom eyelashes, like right here. I just feel like it completes my makeup more. It just looks better than the side of foot. I don't know. I like the way it looks. Um, I also use this as a lip liner. And then this. It's just like this colored gloss. Just get whatever gloss you like. So these I got from Five Below. I got this from a store in the mall. I had like a bunch of lip gloss. And then I got this one from Miss A. Is this one for a slight bit of color. You take the plumpy ones. Those on it. There. They all feel different. I take this one. I'm running out of this one. I've had this one for a long time. And then I have this one on all over my lips. That is done with the lips. And lastly, I gel my eyebrows. They usually look like that, but that looks better. I just have this setting spray from Miss A and just spray it. Makes it look moist, but it is nice or whatever. So that is my makeup. Hope that this lives up to y'all's expectations. I'm gonna try and link the stuff that I use if you wanna buy it. And you can usually find it at any Ulta Audios. Get out of here. Why are you still here? Why are you still watching? Huh? 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 Okay, bye.